Hey guys, this is Full Snack Developer here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on lighting. Um, so I'm going to be doing a, a coffee cup icon uh, and showing you just how I do uh, lighting when I'm doing illustrating. Um, so let's jump right into it. Um, I did this quick sketch on Photoshop, um, just showing you uh, the different uh, different lighting positions. Now, when it comes to uh, like making an object look uh, 3D. Um, in a 2D space, uh, this is kind of what we're looking at here. So um, we, we have a light source, um, mine is this beautiful sun, uh, shining down on this cup here. Uh, and so uh, basically uh, what you're doing is um, imagining the cup in a 3D space, all right? So it's um, a round, um, it's got this handle coming off to the side and it kind of tapers down at the bottom. Um, so basically uh, the lights coming down from the top uh, left hand corner um, it's hitting this uh, one edge here this first first edge here and um, you can just imagine that um, you know when it has this hard spectrum like this uh, that the, the object is is either reflective or a very hard surface um, if we wanted to try and make the object look soft we ac actually just remove uh, this this light area here um, but since it has that uh, it's kind of hard and reflective um, so basically then the, then the light comes down um, and then uh, I kind of draw mine in two tiers of shadowing. Uh, one is a lighter and then obviously the darker. Um, so basically this first tier comes and because it starts tapering down, this light comes down. You can imagine the rays coming um, and they just, the cup's uh, bevel um, uh, just casts a shadow already um, on this lower part. And then obviously as, it, uh, as the cup is round, um, it kind of rounds out and then the second tier is more on the back side and again um, la layering the shadows will will give the the concept of um, the the curve the circle the uh, the circle of the of the cup um, and then on the handle here um, the the cup itself actually casts a shadow onto the handle and you can imagine uh, the handle is also round so we're kind of giving it a roundy shadow shape um, and then uh, the light again coming down from the left hand corner so it kind of catches a uh, catches a little bit more light on the handle but still kind of hidden now there is some artistic freedom to kind of just um you know uh play around with the lighting and stuff um and have some fun just to you know artistic style but you know generally these are the rules and again on this side see um we'll put the light on the on the right top right coming down now it's hitting um the handle as well as uh the cup's body um, as well so we have two hard spectrums and again um, the the bottom of the handle have a being having a bit of shadow because uh, the light is is higher um, higher up uh, and coming down from the from the right hand side and then again we're just flipping it uh, the shadowing in the body so let's get right into it um, I'm an illustrator over here uh, and we can just start uh, you know um, clicking out uh, the the shape the body of the cup um, I'm just doing some general uh, general passes at uh, the object. Um, what I like to do is actually create um, create half of the object and then uh, duplicate it uh, and then put it onto the other side. Now, um, for this one, um, I'm just uh, drawing out the one half here of the cup and we'll flip it around. So um, that looks pretty good. I just uh, copy and paste in place. So that's Command C and then Command Shift V. Um, and then I'm going to go up to uh, Object Transform Reflect uh, and then drag it over here, line it up. And then over here in the Pathfinder tool, I'll make it one shape. Um, I'll jump into my uh, hitting minus so that I can subtract these anchor points. We don't need them. Um, and that's the body of our cup there. I'm going to just uh, shrink it down a bit and zoom in. I like to work a little all white space around. All right, so we got the body of the shape, um, a body of the cup. We're going to up the, uh, the, the line thickness. Um, and I'm also going to round off by clicking stroke. I'm going to round off uh, the corners um, just a little bit friendlier. And now let's... Uh, Let's line out the handle here. All right. Oop. And just clicking and dragging, roughing it out. We can always go back and tweak if we don't like something. And the nice thing about Illustrator is you can always just hide behind. So 
I just push this object to the very back by hitting command shift um, left bracket that'll push it all the way to the back okay so um, again we're just gonna cut out the inside of the handle and actually for this what you can do is this is a cool little trick uh, selecting the object I'm gonna go up in here and get a path uh, off, offset path and what this is going to do is here I'll show you preview it um, you're going to see here that uh, 10 pixels out it will draw another shape um, 10 pixels wider uh, than than the object um, what I want to do is draw the inside of the handle so I'm going to put it to minus pixels um, let's say minus 40 let's just see what minus 40 does um, and you know what uh, that uh, that looks pretty good okay so I'm just going to go okay and so it created this object inside of this other one. So there, there's, there's two different objects now. Um, but what I can do is uh, go into the Pathfinder and uh, remove that shape. Now it doesn't look like anything happened because white background. But actually now um, it took that shape and cut it out of that other shape. So now I've got this. Uh, and if we um, put it back there, um, if I make it a color, you'll be able to see that it's just this shape now. Now we don't want that sticking out, so we'll just tuck it in behind. And there we go. We got the handle. Um, so here, I'll just make this like that so it doesn't look weird. Um, all right, great. There's our uh, there's our basic coffee cup shape. Um, <clears throat> so what I want to do now, uh, we can actually jump right into lighting. Um, but first, uh, I'm gonna pick a, a, a color. Um, I'm gonna pick a color. Uh, what I like to do also to to add like shading for my illustrations is uh, gradient. So um, I usually start out by just kind of roughing out just a block color here, um, seeing what kind of uh, kind of coffee cup. Usually, uh, you know, coffee cups maybe like a, a beigey white, um, but you can make it any color you really want. Um, oh, you know what? Hmm. Color choosing is always the hardest part, um, just because there's so many colors. Why don't we do? Why don't we do a nice slate blue? You know what? That's good. Um, I'm just using the eyedropper tool here, just by pressing I, uh, to grab that. Excuse me. Um, just to grab that uh, color there from that one. Um, I like the color, so I'm gonna go copy it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm clicking um, because I wanted to uh, have my line, my outline on top. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually like remove the color from these by just hitting this no color over here. Um, I'm going to copy paste in place that's command C command sh uh, shift V um, and then I'm gonna turn it inside out uh, command shift uh, left bracket push it all the way to the back double click on the color I'm gonna oh did I not copy that color over oh, shoot um, pick my slate blue again there we go um, I'm gonna do the same thing again push to the very back copy command shift paste and um, eyedropper tool and then push to the very back um, okay so I'm gonna copy this color there we go um, grab this line now now remember I'm, I'm uh, selecting the outline I'm going into it I'm pasting a color but uh, now I want it to be a lot darker because I like my outlines very uh, very dark but still a shade of the color so hard to tell but if you zoom in a little you can definitely tell that that is a, a nice slate blue it gives it a softer look so I'm just gonna select the other outline I'm gonna hit I I'm gonna outline it as well and then I'm gonna zoom back out oh. zoom back out um, and now uh, what I'm gonna do is grab grab this color again and go over to my gradient tool here and I just click to get a gradient just throws one on and now see how I'm, I'm following the light the light source um, I just imagine having a, a sun up here and the light coming down like this um, so I'm gonna put the lighter color up here during the front edge and then the darker color back here um, where where the sh shadow would be casting so I'm gonna go over here to select my uh, colors here so you can just pick one there um, drag these out okay so if this one is my light color I'm gonna paste that color in actually I'm just gonna get my base down um, now I'm gonna go over to this one and I'm gonna make it lighter so I'm gonna drag these RGB up a little bit and I'm gonna get a nice light color coming down off that um, and then I'm gonna drop this to 50% 
and oh, and I'm gonna make this darker oh, oh darker there we go just dragging all three down a little bit there we go so already without uh, without the use of actually um, using the, the the like shadows hard shadows yeah you can hardly kind of start to get like the idea of the lighting um, I'm just gonna put the same effect on the handle oh, same effect on the handle but this this time um, notice how I'm dragging out I'm starting out up here and I'm dragging to to, uh, to the farther down I'm, I'm covering the handle with the darker portion of this gradient so still using a gradient but the darker portion because the handle is behind the body of the cup so um, that's just a little little tip on when I'm doing the uh, you know multiple parts to an object so now we can jump right in to the actual shading um, so uh, like we uh, like we discussed over here this curve because of the the taper on the bottom of the cup I'm gonna just start to mimic that out um, in this first pass of shadow um, now a little little tip I'm just blocking out like that um, so what I can do is actually select uh, the, the, the body of the um, cup, copy it, paste in place, and then I'm going to select both of the objects, the one I blocked out, and you notice how now I got the center, uh, center, you know, intersecting object, and that's what I want for my shadow. So I'm going to go over to my Pathfinder, I'm going to select the intersection tool, and there we go. That's, um, that's the shadow that I want. I'm going to now, um, uh, I drop uh, the line um, and I, I like to make my shadows um, the same color as my outline only 30% 30% opacity uh, again I want it behind that uh, outline so I'm gonna push it to the very back and then bring it to the front but one by one excuse me one by one by uh, hitting command um, right bracket um, until it's in front there um, perfect and then I'm going to do my second pass of shadow all right, and I'm gonna be coming up this backside like that, and again blocking out. Copy, paste in place, select both intersection. I'm gonna eye drop this shadow again, um, and because I'm using um, because I'm using the exact same shadow, um, this is 30%. But when you put 30% on top of 30%, this now gets 60%. So um, there we go. We're getting, we're starting to get that light coming down feel. Um, I'm going to actually because we want this uh, the handle uh, the first um, this first pass. We want the whole thing to be in the first gradient of uh, or the first tier of uh, shadow. So I'm just gonna copy paste in place. Oh, all right. We haven't done the uh, the outline for it. So um, I oh, or maybe we have. Oh yeah, we did. Oh, that was my bad. I selected the wrong one. There we go. Copy, paste in place. There we go. Um, I'm gonna eye drop the shadow again. Push it back. Bring it to the one in front, and um, and there we go. Perfect. We got that first tier of shadow on that, and now we're going to um, block in the second part of the shadow. Go. Perfect. Um, I drop. Push it back. There we go. Um, and then again on the lower part. Now on this one, see, I'm just kind of imagining the curve of it, but also kind of carrying up to the back of the handle. Um, you can imagine that they're just. Um, it almost casts a shadow. The the curve of the the curve of the handle like that. Um, would naturally have a shadow as well. So again, copy, paste in place, intersect, eye drop tool, push it back, bring it up a couple. There we go. Okay, um, this is looking good. You guys are kind of seeing the the three Dness coming through. Now, what we want to do is add a um, highlight, so kind of like a glare. Now. As you can see, if we left it like this, it's kind of got a softer shape, shape, um, uh, you know, softer lighting on it. Um, it feels maybe velvety or something. Um, but um, what we want to do is actually give it um, a hard, 
uh, it's called Spectrum. Um, so it's the the hard light, the you know where it's most intense. The light is most intense and reflecting. Um, so we'll just add that in by putting um, this strip of white. It's not white yet, but it will be. The strip of white down this first edge. Um, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make it white. There we go. Um, again, I'm gonna push it behind uh, the outline, uh, and then make it 30%. Now this one you can, you can, um, you know, if, if it's a lighter object, sometimes you have to, uh, you know, use a, a hard, like a, a more, a less op opaque, um, less opaque uh, highlight for it to actually show. Um, but in this case, the blue is nice and dark, so the white shows up good. Um, I think this just comes down a little too close to shadow, so I'm just going to grab these points here, move it up, and just adjust the bezier a little bit. I'm going to zoom in for a tweak. There we go. Um, what you can do is also, if you select the shape, you can go over here to the Smooth tool. Oh. Select it again, smooth tool, and uh, if I want to smooth that out a little bit, you just drag your uh, click and drag, and then it smooths it out for you. Okay, so um, this is our cup. It's looking pretty good, and uh, it's got a nice glow. Now, um, something that I like to add for just uh, finesse um, is to add a line that just color uh, that follows um, follows the dark part of the shadow. So I'm just going to pen out a line here um, and I'm going to eye drop the outline. There we go. Um, I'm going to click it and actually what you can do is um, taper, taper profile. Um, so that goes from everything to nothing. If you wanted to, uh, you know, like adjust your, um, excuse me, adjust the, um, the width of your line, you can go over here to the width tool um, and I can actually like drag out different points if I wanted to. Um, you know, have some funky outline. I can do it on any of these, um, but um, the uh, the regular taper works for what I'm going for. Ah, actually, let, why don't we just make this line just a little bit thicker here? Yeah, yeah, that works. Um, okay, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, um, and then I always like to add these little taper off lines. Now, this is just artistic styling. Um, again, you guys get the concept of the of the lighting. This is just. Uh, Add a little pizzazz. So, um, and then finish off with just a little dot. Um, if you uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that all my illustrations have these little little broken up lines. Adds a little bit of style. So, there we have it. Um, this is uh, the the cup, the lighting. Um, and uh, this is a simple example. Obviously, with different shapes, you got to think about it. Um, uh, differently and there'll be you know other factors you know other pieces that will cast shadows and uh, you know do different things with lighting to get the right effect obviously like in my um, one that I did for my protein shake or the one that I did for uh, the wine glass uh, glass has a, a different way of, uh, of reflecting light um, and you know what the best way you know the best way to understand lighting is to you know when you're doing an illustration of something uh, go look you know just google the object um, and, and take a look at the pictures and see how the light is, you know, uh, passing through. Maybe, uh, you know, glass uh, sometimes is actually re like reflective on both sides or, you know, um, there's a lot of different factors to, to think about. But um, this is just a real basic version uh, to help you guys uh, get started in understanding uh, 3D light uh, in a 2D space. So hopefully this this uh, tutorial has been helpful for you guys. Um, feel free to leave me uh, comments. Um, go check out my website, fullsnackdeveloper.com, to get uh, all my icons as uh, wallpapers uh, for your desktop or for your phone. Check me out on Instagram, fullsnack underscore developer, um, to watch and see all of my uh, latest icons come out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.